Hey guys, it's Melissa with Melissa Peterson Designs. I'm hopping on Friday morning because I have a craft I want to show you or um, working on painting wood beads. Um, I went and got groceries last week and I had on my list to get writ dye and I left without it. And um, it's the kind of store you go to and once you get through the checkout, you don't really want to go back through if you don't have to. So when I came home, I was still determined and um, I found a new way of painting beads and it doesn't involve using a paintbrush. Um, I have these paper plates. I use them sometimes like to um, squirt my paint on and just, you know, do some painting, do some blending or whatever. Um, these are grease resistant paper plates. I don't know if you can use pa plain paper plates, but basically I'll scoot you down here. So when you come on, let me know. And um, I got these wood beads at Amazon. You can get them at Hobby Lobby. You can use your 40% off coupon if they're not on sale. And um, I started out last week and I actually had uh, like my black caviar paint. Let me put you back up here. I'm not done yet. My black caviar paint and I had very little at the bottom. And I thought, well, I'll just put a little bit of water in there and do like the shake method. Like when you put them in the jar and you shake them. I had a hot mess. It didn't really, it worked, but it was, it was a mess. And um, then I just started experimenting around and I was using these paper plates to put them on and to um, dry, you know, but they kind of stuck. So I'm sitting here shaking them around and that's when I learned this technique. So basically you put, you can put anywhere up to 10 to 20 of these on there. And um, I had a poll yesterday I put up to see if you wanted me to do, do Valentine's theme or um, St. Patrick's theme. And between Facebook and Instagram, it was a tie. So we're going to go ahead. No, Reese's. Get down. Oh, she knows better. Okay, so it was basically a tie. So I'm going to go ahead and do Valentine colors. I'm going to go with Apple Barrels Bright Red. Um, get this at Walmart. I think it's like 50 cents. I've got two, four, uh, now I can't count. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I've got 12 beads on there. Let's see if I can do this without getting paint on my shirt. So I basically squirt maybe a teaspoon on there, just like that. And then just carefully shake it around like that and they will knock each other off that paint and just cover each other. If you need to add a little bit more, you can do that now. And basically, I had maybe four plates lined up on my kitchen counter, different colors, and every time I walked by to go do something with the laundry, I would just give the plate a little shake, and within 15-20 minutes, I had painted beads. And they were probably like 95% covered. And this was just using Walmart craft paint. but. I also did a little experiment because I had my Dixie Belle caviar. I already had it watered down, but I wanted to do some St. Patrick's colors. Hey Pat, how you doing? So I went ahead and tried Dixie Belle's Palmetto and I also had their kudzu. And This was my first colors. So that is Dixie Bell's Palmetto. That is their kudzu. Not too happy with my tassel, but overall I was very happy with the coverage. Um, if you want more coverage, let this dry 15-20 minutes and you can do it again, the very same thing. Yes, Pat, do. This is so much fun. And you can use your Dixie Belle paints. You don't have to water them down. Um, that's Dixie Belle's Caviar. That's technically like a craft paint. 
and that is both. This is when I got Meryl's attention. Um, it was funny. I'm working on my tassels. Um, not the best job, but I'm trying. Um, okay, where'd I go? I, I was so excited to get on here all week to do this. So basically, you come back every uh, few minutes and just shake it until it's dry 10-15 minutes later. If you want more coverage than that, after that's completely dry, then do it again. Just maybe a teaspoon. 10 to 20 beads. Let me see what you say. You used to what, dear? Oh, make tassels. Maybe you can give me a lesson then. Because I'm working on it. My first two, I wasn't that impressed. This is my third one. I'm getting a getting a little bit better. It's kind of got a funky haircut there. Um, I've used jute rope, regular jute rope. I used black jute rope. And then this was me working on with my messy bow, but I didn't glue it very well, so the back side looks ugly. So um, I'm working on that. There we go. So, and that was jute rope. Wait a minute, what am I doing wrong here? Oh no, I um, didn't use jute rope on this. I used green yarn. Hobby Lobby had their yarn on sale this week. I think it's 30% off. So I've got that. I grabbed one of these colors and then I grabbed a neutral just to play around since they were on sale. So basically, okay, so we got this one, one color in red. Now I'm going to grab ones that are already dry. Let me see here. And what's also great about these, um, it looks like I'm using a whole bunch of different paper plates, but I actually have paper plates back there saved. So that way after the paper plates are dry with the paint, you can actually reuse them again for a while. So there's my jar of uh, Valentine colors. But I'm going to go ahead and make some speckled beads and show you how I do that. I'm going to do orange. And these are the ones that caught Meryl's eye. He said they looked like quail eggs. So of course he was all excited. So no paintbrush. So I'll put you down here again. That is orange. I think that was um, this color. Apple barrel called jack-o'-lantern. And I'm gonna put a little bit of white. And what's nice about this is if you get too much paint on your plate and it's not, and you got too much paint on your beads, add a couple dry beads to it and it'll, it'll kind of like um, spread it around a little bit better for you. So, just a little bit of paint. And they kind of agitate each other. And once that dries, you got like a little speckle of orange and white. And if you want a little bit more orange showing, once it's dry, you can go back and add some more orange. So just every few minutes, I go back and just shake them up as they're drying. So I'm going to go ahead and make a quick bead. We can FaceTime. Oh, yes, good. Because the way I did it, um, I did one last night. I kind of liked how I did it, but I'm sure I did it wrong. So but it worked for me so for now but yeah you'll have to show me how so let me make a valentine's one i've got um i went to dollar tree yesterday and i got some hearts so we're going to make one real quick and i'm going to put one on there and to me the hardest part about making these is getting the string string ready so let me see here over there I'm going to use a combination of the speckled and the red, and I'm going to mix it up with some plain ones I haven't touched in a little bit smaller size. So I'm going to put you back down here again, going up and down. 
Yes, I bet they are. I bet that was fun to go to. So let's go ahead and do, what color string should I do? What do you think? The red or the brown for a Valentine? Hmm. Maybe this one and then we can accent it with that maybe. I got an idea. Okay, so I use tape to prep my string with. You say red. How about we accent it with red? What do you think? So basically, I've got this tape. This part is the hardest part for me. And it's basically, I'm doing the same thing like you do with a shoestring or that has the ends on there. And you try and get it nice and small. Um, I have some really small beads, and believe it or not, the holes are pretty much the same size. So if you can get them through these larger beads with the holes, I don't know what the size they are. You said you have an idea. Go for it. Okay. We'll see. And I have a feeling that hopefully this isn't too big. I think I made that too big. We're going to try and work with it. So basically, you're trying to like, like uh, keep the end from fraying. Okay. And I've got a heart I got from Dollar Tree. There was like four in a packet. And we're going to use different size beads. And I tend to go in a pattern. Okay. Let me think. Let's do small first. Please go through. <laughs> and yes. So my smallest bead actually made it through there. I have a sore on my thumb. I don't know what I did. I actually thought I had a splinter. Thankfully I didn't go after the splinter because it's just a cut. Okay, let me see here. So we got red and we got the speckled. So I'm going to alternate. have my hot glue gun ready just in case I decided to do something wild. There we go. So then I'm going to go back and just kind of go with a pattern. You can do these in a pattern. You can do them haphazardly. That's up to you. Oh, that's okay, Pat. I'll talk to you later, babe. So we're just going to go ahead and work on this. You guys can catch the replay. And I'm having trouble with this one. There we go. So there's our start. And I'm going to go ahead and put another small one on there. I've got somebody's puppy at my feet begging to go O-U-T. He can be pretty persistent. This will be interesting. I promise to take them out to uh, out back on the four-wheeler when we get done here. Yeah, like they understand what I'm saying. Okay. So I gotta be careful how I say that. So there's a start. Now we're gonna do this speckled. Let me get back here and shake these. Okay, and you just keep following the pattern here. Let me know if you have any questions. When you guys catch the replay, I'll keep an eye out for them and I'll answer them when I can. Okay, and then we'll go back to red. And 
do a few more of these and then I'll finish it up. Okay, so I have it just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and make this a smaller one. I'm going to give myself just a little bit more room just in case I need it. And with these, you want to, the string, the beads on the string to be a little bit loose so they have room to drape. Now for this, I'm going to go ahead and tape off the other end. Like I did the first one. So that way when you try and thread them through the beads, you're not fighting the, the string and I'm using yarn here I got from Hobby Lobby yesterday that's on sale and of course I made that a little bit too big but this is where I'm at so far and I'm gonna go ahead and use another speckled one I made I'm gonna put them through the hole on both ends let me know if you can see okay And there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and do a knot just to secure it before I move on. And there's so many ways you can make these beads. You can do knots as, whoops, that's too down, far down low. You can make knots in between each one as a decoration. There we go. So, and then I'm going to go ahead and see if I can follow my pattern. On this one I made, I was able to get the small ones on there, like that. So, oh, for those of you that are hopping on, I just showed how I used paper plates to paint my beads and how I made my speckled beads. So you'll have to come back and watch the replay on that. Now I'm trying to make put one together. I have issues with my hands cramping up sometimes, so if I can do this, I'm sure you could too. Okay, so I got one in there, and this is a smaller bead. And I got my beads from Amazon, and you can also get them from Hobby Lobby. I don't know if Walmart has them or not. Okay, I probably should put that one in first. I didn't do the best with getting these wrapped. Let me see if I can do that again. Hey, Pat. I've gotten a little bit farther ahead. And I didn't do a very good job taping up my second one. Come on. I'm trying to run this through two strings through that small bead. There we go. So I'm just following a little bit of a pattern here. If I'd done a better job taping, I probably could have stuck them both through at the same time. But like I said before, that's probably my hardest part is getting the tape on there small. Okay, so where's my pattern again? There we go. So I'm going to go to a bigger bead. Come on. 
There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to add a red bead. Okay, I think the bigger beads are causing more trouble than the small ones. Come on. There we go. Persistence. <clears throat> so, there's my little pattern. And I'm going to do something just a little bit different than I did with my, my St. Patrick's one. So, we're going to, I think I'm going to go ahead and tie that off. Just for a little bit more security. Okay, let me see how I want to do this. I'll put those away so I don't make a mess. And let me shake these up again. And these are dry, so I'll just go ahead and share, put them together. So there's the beads we painted today. And let me see. I grabbed, I'm going to make a tassel. This is something I'm still working on. I got one of these, um, I was practice painting and I never got back to it. So I'm going to use this as my template to make a tassel. And it's just a piece of wood. Because I got tons of scrap pieces of wood around here. Hey Sue, how are you doing? I have to come back and check and see how I uh, painted these wood beads without a paintbrush. Thankfully, I'm making one tassel because I lost count. Okay, we'll see if that's thick enough. I guess you're learning what not to do. How's that sound? I may have to rewrap that again. Forget it. I made it too tight. Okay, one more try. I like my tassels thick, so hopefully this will be thick enough. Okay, that definitely is a little bit looser. Whew, that was a workout. Okay, I'm going to cut one end. Okay, now the way I did it, I went ahead and used my strings that I have here. Whether it's right or wrong, this is how I did my last one. I kind of liked how it turned out, so we'll see if this works. And I just went ahead and just double knotted without trying to make a mess. And then we can give a little haircut. Okay. Let 
Now I've got this, I want to add to it. I'm just going to go ahead and use one of these tassel ropes. I think I'm going to leave this one free, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? I'm practicing. So, I see a little bit more of a haircut I need to do. All right, so... If you like this one let me know um, this is the one I did yesterday it's a little bit bigger sorry about that they're not the same size if you like this one let me know and on Monday I will give one of these away so um, make sure you sprinkle this video um, sprinkle this video let me know which one you like and let me know that you sprinkle also um, Starting Sunday, I have um, my first online craft class, my craft kit that's going to be available. Um, MP2, MPD tribe members are going to have first access. I have 15 kits. I didn't know for sure how well this was going to go over, so I kept the amount small because I wasn't sure. Um, so Monday, or Monday, Sunday, watch your emails if you're a member. Um, if you want to join, go to my website and, um, and sign up to join. And um, I have more information on my Facebook page. So if you have any questions, let me know. And I hope you guys have a great weekend. I'm going to get the four-wheeler warmed up and take the girls out back and wear them out. So you guys have a great weekend. Bye.